Okay, guys, it's uh, John V3 IPS. Uh, quick video here. A, I forgot my coax. Actually, I had it in a backup bag that I had in the back of the SUV, but uh, my wife went to Costco, so she took the bag out, probably threw it in the garage, and uh, I don't have anything now. So, anyways, uh, I brought my radio along. But, anyways, I, I wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the this new antenna, the, the Ranger 80, the REZ antennas, uh, Michael and uh, W5 something, I forget his call sign. Anyways, um, very well rugged. This thing is very, very heavy, built like a tank, made in a machine shop, American style, uh, done very, very well, extremely well. So I, I'm just gonna do a quick, um, two things I wanted to test out. Well, one was uh, possibility of Envis. And um, I'm looking at probably doing it uh, two different ways, but let's do sort of a mobile setup here. I've got a trailer hitch with a repurposed uh, bike rack that I picked up. I don't need anything to carry the bike, and the nice thing about it, and I've been using this with uh, my body pull mask that fits ideally inside the hole here, even though I have the bracket now, I can take that off. But I got a hinge pin on it, I can pull this down, you know, for the bike. And I can put my mast up, which is a lot better now when I do VHF, UHF. Bottom layer here, he's got the ground lug. I just got a little protector on it here for the coax, keep dirt out. Um, I've done a couple of things. Um, one is the regular style, meaning this is what it ships with. Um, the stuff doesn't kink. Wire is very good. It's flexible easy to work with. I haven't tried it in cold weather. I know uh, I've had some issues in the past with some of the wire uh, getting tightened up, but uh, what I'm trying to avoid is, uh, and depending on how you unwind it or wind it, sometimes when you have to go through this, it's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated than it probably needs to be. But uh, it does come with four ground plane radios, uh, recommended. It is a base loaded antenna. And uh, the banana plug just plugs into the bottom uh, plug here. There's uh, eight, comes with four wires, so you can buy an accessory kit if you want to add more radials. Help you get a little bit more copper in the ground to make more contact. So let's try to unravel this here. I think I'm out of, definitely out of camera view, but uh, we'll lay this out. Okay, so I got one radio laid out. I could lay out the other radios. This one here I have on a line line winder, so I've been trying this one out as far as deployments, and I'm starting to think I think I like the line winder method better. And the trick is to have the line winder have the end of the radial inside the original thing here. So now I gotta lay and undo the whole thing, but obviously it's a lot easier, easier to uncoil than I did with the, uh, with the one that's uh, figure eight winding or whatever it is that they call it. I don't know, I wind it around my hand. So let's put in the other radial here. I'm only going to put two radials just to show. Um, here I've got uh, a bolt on it. I got it at Ace Hardware when I was down in the States at Dayton. And uh, that's just to protect the end piece here. But uh, the REZ antenna design is to use a, a nine, and, uh, 9 and something foot whip. You always uh, assemble it from the bottom. There's a spring inside it. Now, if you guys remember from the other day when I was uh, doing some operating, um, this coil set up for 20 meters. So when I was doing 80 meters, the slider is more down to the bottom, more inductance added to the uh, whip element. And the nine foot design, this is kind of an AT271 antenna, a military antenna based on that. It's been around for over 50 years. Well proven design, a lot of military radios match everything to this nine feet. 
and it's the same with this story as well too. So this coil will provide you coverage from 80 meters and up um, using the coil on it. For six meters, uh, it's too much inductance. You're not going to use the coil. You're just going to use the whip element, but you have to bend in some of the whip elements. I'll do another video on that. Uh, we do a lot of six meter simplex up here, so uh, it'd be great to have something set up that we can do six meter operation as well too. So I've got two radials here, one with the line winder, one without set up as a as a mobile antenna and uh, I tried it out the other day it worked fine I just I, I didn't do a video on it now I want to I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of leave it at that and I'm gonna restart the video and I'm gonna show you something about the Envis antenna so thanks a lot guys